Let's eat. Farmer's fridge is essentially just a refrigerator filled with freshly stocked salads that start at seven bucks. Farmer's fridge has 120 locations in Chicago and Milwaukee. So this location is really interesting. It's in Block 37, which is, you know, a posh mall in the middle of the city. So you get people running through here all day, and especially at rush hour, um, the machine is right here, ready to sell you lunch or dinner. You know, we've seen the same model used by Redbox for movies. We've seen those Best Buy kiosks that sell, you know, Beats headphones and things like that at the airport. Why not fill it with fresh, healthy produce instead, right? But you know, a clever business plan means nothing if the product isn't good. I'm gonna try it myself. So some stuff is sold out. We have some bowls, Greek yogurt and granola bowl, uh, cauliflower fried rice bowl. That actually looks kind of promising. Oh, falafel? Oh, I'd try some falafel. Falafel for 250, that's pretty cheap. Oh wait, more info, what's this say? Oh, it has all of the ingredients. This is actually great. It's super transparent, then I can, for another tap, see nutritional info, See, it's 190 calories, 10 grams of protein. You know, these days I feel like everybody's paleo or gluten-free or vegan. Um, and this whole menu system makes it so easy to find what you're looking for, whatever that is. Okay, so I found my order. I've decided I'm gonna get cauliflower fried rice bowl and for my protein, a little bit of falafel. It should be good. Here we go. They're nice and cold. They're like ice cold. And then your cutlery is all on the side here. They have like a little to-go basket. Just piling my stuff in, fork, spoon. The one thing Farmer's Fridge doesn't come with is a place to eat your meal. All right, there we go, there we go. You know what? Totally solid. Hey James, producer, try it. I want a second opinion. Tell me if I'm bullshit. This looks way too healthy for me. I know, it, it is. this is a little more my speed than your speed. I'm a very unhealthy eater. <laughs> what is this? I'm mostly vegan. He prefers to eat raw animal that's still kicking. It tastes healthy as hell. There's still a great crunch on the uh, veggies. Mm -hmm. So that, I think, is an indication that it is still very oh, fresh. Totally. It's not like soggy, it doesn't feel like there's it's a lot been of, sitting around. There's a lot of flavor like, though, isn't there? There is a lot of flavor. I personally wouldn't go for this because I'm a very unhealthy eater. Falafel time. I'm gonna be honest, the falafel could use a little bit of work. It's a little drier, it's a little more bitter. It tastes suspiciously like they're using some sort of central mix that they're not actually like uh, soaking and grinding the chickpeas themselves. It just has that powdery flour flavor. It's edible, like don't get me wrong. It's not gross, but the fried rice felt so fresh and sort of lovingly made, even though simple, it was lovingly made. This just feels like they need to tweak the recipe. I come from a Mediterranean I know, background. I want you, I, I know, I want you. Falafel. Now I really want no, you to try it. You have to try it, try it, try it. You're a trying time. like a tiny bite like like my four-year-old will try of a food. That's crap falafel. <laughs> That's shit falafel. I give I'm it a C. Lie. I give it like a C minus. What would you give it? Honest, yeah, yeah. I give that a complete fail. Because falafel is really easy to like. It's not. It's not super duper easy to make. It's pretty easy to make by standards of cooking and a. If I were to give advice, I would say remove that from the menu. Overall, for an $8.50 lunch, I've definitely eaten worse at any big chain bistro, bakery, French dish restaurant thing you know and that you've eaten at in a city in a moment of desperation. So from that respect, the quality of the food is like on par. If not, again, this salad might be a little bit higher quality than some of that. So look, I'm sold on it. The restaurant chain of the last 50 years has been about mass producing big buildings on every corner. And I think the restaurant chain of the next 50 years looks a lot more like that. Do you have anything in your town that we should come and check out? Leave a comment below, click to see more, and don't forget to subscribe for weekly episodes of You Have to See This.